thank you, Chair. The COVID-19 pandemic has asked a great deal of our constituents, and for the last year, the liberties we all enjoy and should expect have been restricted. I know most people who I represent want those freedoms returned as soon as possible in as safe a way as possible. The question posed by proposed vaccine passports is whether they are part of enabling all of our society to return to normality. This is complex. Many people look at this through the prism of that will work for me or I have the vaccine, so I'm okay. But as the last year has shown us, as a society, when we pull together and act in the spirit of selflessness, we can achieve so much more for everyone. We need to consider if such a scheme would enable some and restrict others unfairly for their own reasons who have not taken the vaccine. We cannot penalise people who have exercised their right not to take the vaccine. This may be an expectant mother, for example, who just cannot get a piece about taking the vaccine, even with the reassurances given by scientists and health advisors. To penalise this person from public places or services would be wrong. Factor also into the debate that we have so little evidence of the vaccine's effectiveness in reducing transmission that it is simply too soon to be considering taking such a significant step without the evidence of whether it would actually be of real benefit. Chair, in Northern Ireland, we have a very specific set of circumstances with a land border with the Irish Republic. And while our vaccine programme is well advanced, the rollout of the vaccine in the Irish Republic is stumbling and slow, not helped by their decision to suspend the use of the Oxford vaccine. How would vaccine passports work on this cross-border basis for those who work in maybe the public sector or have family who they care for in the Irish Republic and vice versa? It simply cannot work. Chair, I know some industries, airlines, for example, other countries may choose to administer some form of vaccine passports, passports for those seeking to use their services. But in the public sphere, the government must take cognizance of the issues around exacerbating inequality, around evidence regarding transmission and so on. Let us focus instead on encouraging vaccine uptake first and support the world leading scientific research happening here in the UK to tackle the issues presented by COVID-19. However, in closing, I must make clear I would be utterly opposed and believe this government needs to avoid a domestic internal vaccine passport requirement for travel throughout the United Kingdom. We must hold dear to the liberties we once knew and want to return to. Thank you, Chair.